ஹலோ ஓகே ஓகே so <clears throat> till now we been seeing hana as database and you learned hana as modeling environment and you seen about data provisioning on to hana and you should be able to do uh, dashboards or with using design studio on top of uh, hana views now so that's what you mean as a native hana using hana as enterprise where they would install hana as a core database do the provisioning of data through slt or bods or, or uh, dxc whatever it is and then they get the data into hana tables on top of this tables they do a modeling uh, with the all the views and then they expose it for reporting that is one kind of solution yeah. and next kind of solution is what we can also have it as bw powered by hana bus i would see majority of the case you would find this kind of solutioning where instead of having core hana you would see bw on top of hana bus this majority of the customers who are already running bw as their enterprise data warehousing solution instead of reinventing the uh, the entire implementation again with hana they would basically need hana for what for performance so they can just migrate their database of their bw system to hana then that would get their performance out so that's where you see majority of the customers going towards that because with less effort they can get their return on investment mm -hmm. so when you have this bw powered by hana what we trying, what happens is there are some concepts which are out and there are some new concepts come in and there are some new concepts which have been enhanced this that's what we are trying to touch only delta part of bw on hana we are not getting i'm not teaching you about bw again about in public so just assume you know bw we are only going to touch out the new concepts what you have on bw with respect to hana as a back end database when you say bw on hana bw powered by hana is all same so you have existing bw and you have that running on every bw should have some database so instead of having oracle or ms sql they would have what hana as a back end so you get some new options again into bw that's what we going to look at this okay this is what majorly you would see in the real time i maintain uh, non understanding program let you can have mixed approach where you have bw with hana as a backend you are leveraging both capabilities and bw capabilities both okay, that also could be the possible yeah so as part of bw and hana we going to touch out all these topics like hana optimized info cube so we have info cube solidity but the design of the info cube is changed now you have we consider them as in memory cubes or hana optimized info cubes as a client if i want to purchase hana what is my that's what i'm saying <clears throat> let's finish of all this then we'll can discuss on solution then you know enterprise hana then you know bw hana then you know ec hana then you can you'll be in a position to do solution yeah. hana optimized info cubes so you know about Uh, the normal kit the external stars you know, now the schema has been changed completely uh, no more dimension table state of fact will start connecting to sid tables uh, that's because of hana bus yeah. mm. so the two things here. one is if you already have a new bw on hana and every cube you create is by default hana optimized cube and let's say you already have you had bw 7.0 with some other database you created a cube that will be a normal cube then when you migrate your database from non hana database to hana database non hana database to hana database then the queues are still like that you will have to explicitly migrate the queue from normal queue to hana optimized queue so we will have to focus more on how do i migrate the existing standard queue to hana optimized queue and one more point to be noted here is say for example um, i have bw on oracle database and i got bw on hana database i got two different systems let's say i have i built a cube with bw on oracle let's say there will be normal standard cube when i transport the cube from bw oracle to bw hana the cube is automatically migrated during the transport itself the cube gets migrated you don't need explicit migration again that's one more important point you can explicitly migrate but apart from this if you transport the object from non hana database bw to 
HANA database BW, the cube is migrated by default during transportation itself. Okay. okay. <coughs> then we also have something called HANA optimized uh, DSO. We have something called HANA optimized DSO. Initially, when they started with HANA, they came out with HANA optimized DSO. Then they now, now they're saying no more HANA optimized DSO. If you have any, you have to reconvert back to standard DSO. So no more. Unoptimized DS and unoptimized DS when concept is not only open, only back to normal standard DS. Mm. Where unoptimized DS was like you have normal new table, active table, but the change log was made, made virtual uh, in form of a calculation view. So they didn't want to store all the historical changes in the change log and they wanted to make it as a virtual object as calculation view. But later they realized that since the change log is virtual, it is there were problems in loading data to the data mart. The performance wise, so the again they are saying no more unoptimized DSO back to normal standard DSO. If you have been given any of this unoptimized DSOs available, you have a program given which you have you leverage and reconvert it, re migrate it back to standard DSO. Mm -hmm. Then consuming HANA models in BW, let's say you got BW on HANA in the underlying HANA database, let's say you have basically done HANA models, you create HANA models like. Um, attribute viewer, analytical viewer, calculation views. Can we consume them in BW? Yes. That's how do we go about consuming them? We have options like um, transient provider, or we can basically um, uh, go with composite provider. I can also use this views into composite provider, or you can publish them as transient providers, or you can use create a virtual cube based on HANA model. By in BW, you can create a virtual cube based on HANA model by leveraging the models in the back end. That is other option, and I recently saw one more effect. Mm. When I have 7.4 with SP11, I could see I could create a BEX query directly on HANA models. I could, uh, when I go to BEX query designer, when I say create new query, I was able to choose my HANA models directly as an info provider. Yeah, it Cube where a HANA model where a the cube is the cube login. Even HANA models are also referred to as another set of info providers for you. So you can create big queries directly on top of them also. I I could see that also. Okay. Next, um, we can also import BW objects into HANA. For example, you have done BW modeling about creating DSO or cube or let's say master data. I can also uh, consume them or import them into HANA as models. Say DS as analytical view or cube as analytical view, mass data as attribute view. I can also do that. Here, important point over adding that. Why do you think at the BW only? Can Hana only? What is create this now? I create this reporting because when the only Hana model can the case now only question is now. Not baga and I thought this would make sense in this case. For normally, what you do, you create a cube or you create a DS or DSO and then a cube, and then you have lots of mass database. And then to get the drill down on all your attributes, what you do, you make them as navigational attributes. So when you make navigational attributes, does it formulate an X table again? P table, X table, almost the size of X table is almost equal to the size of P table. Imagine I've got some 10 mass data objects, and then you made uh, navigational attributes from most of them. And does it formulate 10 next tables? Does it occupy a lot of space? And when I say HANA, your focus should be on using and getting high performance. That's the focus on. So I'm extra formulating extra 10 tables of X table, which is almost equal to the size of your P table, mass rate and the size of Almost X table and the size of the size of the I've got mass database. I'll import those mass data as attribute view. Okay. I'll import the cube as analytical view. In HANA model, what I'll do, I'll create a calculation view, joining this analytical view with this attribute views. So when I go, when I go with joining them, each column itself is treated as an attribute. There's no more navigation attribute concept. Every the attribute are measure on this. Well, there are different types of attributes, so different types of measures. Like measure a attribute on this. So all the attributes which are coming from the mass drill down without leveraging X table. So with, is that an advantage of this? Uh, okay, okay. No. So, does it make sense? I am able to eliminate lots of database uh, structures at the back end. Yes or no? The date of yesterday not received. Okay, okay, okay. I don't worry on this. Uh, 
Next query has some disturbances. Why on top, Hana? Again, we. Uh, big square has some what what disadvantages you feel on Bix? See, even though with lots of tools coming in, Design Studio or um, WebB, all this, Bix query because um, even if you see now, they have been a Bix connection, it's 7.3 Java component, you can go with Bix connection, then you would le you would do a Bix query and leverage it for as a source for your dashboarding or Design Studio or or will be whatever it is. So big spirit design will be the core uh, of uh, core object as data provider if it is from BW. So instead of consuming the providers, you would go with big square because that will enable you to build complex calculations, RKF, CKF, everything. It is really strong. And I saw in some videos the SAP saying that we would they would give a new version of query design again still. Kotovas is still focused on query design. Bex Matam Boledana, Vad Dangan to value Bengal, but Bex query design still holds, is a really strong component as a source product to all other components. The Bex query design is really strong. Discernment is anything, Matana Gayun and Aganta, ideal. Okay. Hmm. It's important. And the Sinar Low, what a question is. Next operation and we have got we have different sources of connection like DB connect text with BAPI or flat file, SAP, myself, all this. And apart from this, you will start seeing new type of connections now. ODP, uh, SLT, ODP, ECC, ODP, myself, ODP, HANA information views. And what the source of connections we will have to leverage onto that. We have to understand. We should start learning on how do I leverage this ODP data sources and with ODP source of connections. In Anitlo, I feel these two are uh, really important. Atlante, uh, if I find two, I find stress tests learn with them. I have ECC on HANA bus. I have got BW on HANA bus. Okay, and we have something called HANA Live. When I say HANA Live, ready ready made HANA models. Ready made HANA models bus. So when I say ready made HANA models, what happens? Uh, in ECC on HANA, let's say I have in implemented HANA Live and I have imported the ready-made calculation base which is already given by business content or SAP. So now ECC on HANA, underlying HANA database of ECC, I have got ready-made views. Now I would like to do a reporting in BW on top of this. Brain the, does it make sense to take this view as a source and do loading? And already virtual, normally virtual ability load this, Delta or the MRA, who data load this. So what I can do? Um, in BW, I will have a source connection of saying ODP HANA information views on it. So I, by using this connection, I can I can have my data source created on top of HANA information model in ECC. I will connect BW and ECC with ODP HANA information views and I will create my virtual uh, nothing but data source on top of those HANA model and connect this data source to a virtual object called open ODS view and then do reporting on top of it. And virtual and quantifier query what they are ultimately triggered to HANA bus. So I'll under case flow, this really makes sense on it. Okay, the ODP with HANA information is. And ODP with SLT is what the source system when you want to integrate SLT to BW. I told you, SLT is like a middleware server which can push in real time data not only to HANA, it can also, with the latest DIMS 2011, it can also push data into what? HANA as well as to BW also. So I can bring in real time data into BW using SLT. I don't know, this point is that the only core HANA is not the point. The HANA is not the only flexible point. Next, we have advanced DS, very, very, very important. How do you think about Rangarang projects? You will give it either standard DS or either advanced DS. Okay? There are three things major. If you want to extract data and physically store your uh, data into BW, and if you want to do data persistence in BW, it is either advanced DSO or standard DSO. So when to go for advanced DSO, when to go for standard DSO, if the number of characteristics are within 120, then advanced DSO. If the number of characteristics are more than 120, standard DSO. So you will be either using standard DSO or advanced DSO for data persistence. Okay. 
and if you want to refer the data virtually then you will be going with open ODS views. Advanced, advanced DSO, open ODS views, two providers, both enable field based modeling and infomix create genos. Data source on the field is what to build those objects. Uh, so um, I, for virtual, if you want to read data virtual, I use open ODS view. Data purchase is standard DSO or advanced DSO. If you want to combine them with multi, like multi board kind of union or join, I will go with composite provider. Run there. Open notice viewer, standard DS1, advanced DS1, composite provider, reporting view. One thing. More simplified data flows. E word is better than Malinko, word is better than Google, word is better than any left one. Data source, Nick transformation complex, you use multiple levels of info source and make sure you have data in only one target, just drop it there. Hana will handle the performance. Then what is detail level better than cube aggregate level better than vanilla. Getting what I'm saying? So your architecture should be, uh, you'll use car, <coughs> you'll have data source, okay. From this data source, try to load into a write down DSO, which will, will be considered as what? Corporate memory, which will be like backup. From this data source, you build in multiple levels of info sources. If you have the transformation complex and load into advanced DSO or standard DSO, depending on the number of characteristics. Suppose what I want to do, staging layer layer, what you'll have? From write down DSO, you'll have a connection to that uh, the first level info source. If there's some data missing, I can always load it from this carpet memory to this target. And the focus. And the takpa space the mark performance level. And the hana antar memory ka bati should level. You should start reducing the memory being used. Uh, do we still do we still realize multi-dimensional reporting using Bex and hana models? Which are two dimensional structures. Two dimensional structures. Hmm. If you are using star join, is it not multi dimensional? Course? If you are building HANA models with star join, is it not multi dimensional models? Yes. See, BigQuery can design query on any of the info, whether it is two dimensional object or multi dimensional object. Uh, shall we bring real time data from ECC to BW using? Yes, yes. We can bring in real time data from ECC to BW using SLT. Uh. But you will not do in every case. In fact, we already had RDA, but how many customers are using RDA? Only in specific business reporting cases where if they really need real time, I can leverage SLT connected to what? BW also. Anyways, you can you can connect to BW and push real time between DSO and do reporting on DSO or consume DSO in, as analytical view in, in HANA and do reporting or bring SLT uh, real time data into HANA tables. On top of this HANA table, you create a model and you consume this model as in BWS provider and do it any way you can. Yeah. Hmm? The word, then what is the purpose of going into HANA? Uh, for performance. Only one question is performance. Why are we going for SAP HANA performance? And then, no? Mm. <coughs> and this is what it is, advanced DSO, open order view and then what, composite provider. Then HANA transformations using ABAP managed database. Now you've been implementing, see, focus in that, when you have BW on HANA, you must push as much as, uh, you must push the data intensity logic deep into HANA database. I told you, we can get the perform, HANA one, HANA install just couldn't take our performance. Then, panjapal, and then, yanta vilayate, yanta, we have to push down the logic deep into our database and one mechanism is transformations. So you build lots of complex transformations using start routine, end routine, all those stuff. If I'm writing with ABAP, is that logic getting executed in the database layer or application layer? Application, I told you with the new paradigm, we would like to push the logic to the data. And the application will assume with the, you will read data from database to application server, process the data and then get the data back to database. So we want to eliminate the movement of data from in and out of the database. So what is that you want to do? You would like to write some code which is pushed to the database so that the logic get executed within the database. So database logic executed on the SQL script file. So we'll have something called ABAP managed database. In the transformations, you can implement a concept of ABAP managed database procedure, which is what HANA expert routine, where you can write SQL script in the transformations and push the logic of transformations deep into HANA database. If you are implementing transformation with standard functionalities like direct mapping, constant, routine, read master data, it will push into 
they were ready-made code written for all the stand functionalities in HANA bus. But if you start writing your ABAP with start routine or end routine or field level rules, it cannot push that logic into HANA database. In that case, you will have to replace that with what? HANA expert routine where you implement, uh, where you will implement ABAP managed database procedures and by using ABAP managed database procedures, you will implement SQL scripting which will get executed into HANA database. That is focus. So with that, you can complex transformations can be pushed into HANA database and you can get the performance out. Next NLS, uh, SAP NLS is what? It's a secondary database. Uh, archiving could be ADK or NLS, near line storage where it will be a sec, let's say you've got BW or HANA and you'll have second database which could be Sybase IQ or DB2 whatever it is. We have Sybase IQ installed already. Then what do you do? All then let's say you got a cube now. Um, with some 10 years of data, but you feel that we only do more of two current two years and the remaining eight years has not been majorly required. So all not really frequently used and unchanged data must be pushed into NLS. I'll create some data archiving process and then I'll push it into NLS. Now I've got two years of data in BW and HANA and remaining eight years have been pushed into secondary database which is NLS. And in the reporting level I can control whether it has to read from NLS or not. And when you do a big query, it does not treat the NLS data separately. It treats as if it is the content of my provider. If you run the report for historical data, you'll get from what? NLS. If you're reading only for current, you'll get from the BW HANA. So with BW HANA, NLS implementation becomes very, 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 very important. And the HANA size is in memory. That's the focus. So when they are focusing on migrating their VW systems to HANA, they are trying, their, their focus is on reducing the data uh, footprint size. <coughs> Costly gravity, they are going, getting onto cloud, cloud kills the size and but like, so they want to reduce the database. So they are trying to delete all unwanted data, they are trying to delete all the system tables, cleaning up, housekeeping activities, PSA cleaning, uh, change logs on the clean data, then uh, Suppose if the data is really required but not be, cannot be deleted, you push that into NLS. About NLS both the actual footprint size tagutanda, then they can reduce the costing even if they go, go into HANA and cloud also. That's all. Because in the cloud they charge you based on the sizing. Uh, that's what their focus. So NLS becomes very, 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 very important. Even before migration, they will implement NLS, then they get to migration. Okay. Because migration uh, NLS is now nowhere concerned with now, even if I've got BW running on MS SQL, I can still have NLS, NLS solution. Yes, NLS ki hanak sambandh le na. Hana vachindu, then importance per yendu kante extended storages. Now, PSA tables on nae, write up mes do I don't want to store them in Hana bus. I would like to store them in NLS. I can mark them as extended storages, then they get stored into NLS, secondary database. Abu na sizing tabu tu marat, Hana sizing. And even the, the concept like BW workspace is like uh, you basically have your multi provider and you want to expose it to the end users where they can customize their with local providers with platforms they can customize they can do reporting on their own yeah and SPOs you know what where is basically split the data into multiple providers multiple cubes or multiple DSOs and then hybrid is where you can use in two ways two cases one is when you want to go with virtual provider and one is in case of RDA so, yeah. You have, you have got data source enabled for virtual uh, remote access to a queue and I want you to utilize the same data source for even for loading then I can go with what? hybrid provider. Then I got a uh, data source enabled for RDA which is pushing real time data into active table of DSO. Then from active table of DSO I would like to do loading into next level queue then I can go with what? hybrid provider. And then IP, uh, do you know, you know about integrated planning on BW. Now what happens if you implement a planning kit in BW, you can push down the logic of planning functions also into HANA database. If IP, when you have IP, you have lots of planning functions running in. I can push down the logic of execution planning functions also into deep into HANA database when, you, when I implement planning kit. Then we have inventory queues. Uh, you know about inventory queues, non included queues, but how you implement is slightly different with this because there's no more concept of marker update, no more concept on there, but there's no more checkbox you find in as no marker update or no marker update. It's all controlled at the DDP settings. 
and then you'll have something called SAP analysis process is more of an APD sorry hmm. AP analysis process and design APD and same thing you want to go with we have HANA analysis process where you want to push down the same concept of data mining into HANA database by using SQL scripting for the transformations of data then I can use what HANA analysis process first yeah. Then this will be LSA plus plus. I told you about using open ODS view, advanced DSO, standard DSO, composite product, and simplifying the layered architecture, which is what we call it LSA plus plus. So the architecture proposition and right? simplified data flows and as much as possible virtualization and field based modeling and number of layers are reduced. And then you go on with composite, uh, you go with composite provider with a uh, join or union. And then reporting on top of it. that is will be your LSA plus plus. And then database migration on HANA. This will be about lift and shift the database from non HANA database to HANA database. So I have got BW running on Oracle. Now I would like to migrate this BW system to HANA database. How do I go about doing migration? And the SAP has given something called DM word, database migration option. And okay, he has given some. Uh, some software with some op, uh, some option through which you can migrate your databases very simple uh, issue run through simple eh? issue run through next 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 quote eh? issue is then you have to analyze otherwise it's a own normal zip file install go to next 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 it's going to go to the quote then you'll have bw on uh, oracle on the you'll install hana database first quote hana database install this you start running this some one of software you start running that sum with using DM option next word the HANA IP address you can work with it it's about exporting this data at base and importing into the next database and then take any tables in here general changes not ticket in how many tables we have it creates one D DDL statements at a tables are great jelly than a tables and so much only DDL statements create this if we are good this is what the data and the pushes and they also say when you're doing this, if there's some problem, you can always fall back immediately. And migration jaru tan dey, then ibban dun dun. You can always fall back to normal database back again. We'll see major focus done. And pre-migration, pre-upgrade itla. After migration, after upgrade step same mutai. Then what optimizations can we carry out on the system which has been just migrated? You know. Bw no oracle undi. Then just migrate this no. Ye elant optimizations we have to do. Using DMO shall be upgraded my guess. Uh, database migration option will allow you three things. At a stretch, you can do upgrade, migration, and Unicode conversion also. Okay. Bw uh, 3.47.4 having data. No. You cannot, my, uh, I cannot use the option if your BW is 3.4 version. No. You must use normal software provisioning manager to upgrade it first to. BA7, then you can focus on using DM. DMO can be used only when your existing BW system is BA7.x. If it is 3.5, cannot be used with the DMO option. Okay. So, this is what we are trying to focus, and now it is. Hmm, unoptimized info cubers. You already know about normal queue, queue fact table, F table, E table, connected to dimension tables, dimension table connected to SI tables, SI table connected to master topics. But now this is changed like this. Uh, you will you will have only one fact table, e, F table. There is no more no more E table, it is only F table. And F table connected to SI tables directly and SI tables connected to master topics. But you still have one dimension which will be your data packet. No more dimension tables except you will have only one dimension table called data packet dimension. Where are running a dimension level? You will have F only F table, no more E table, only F table and F table connected to uh, only one dimension which is data packet and rest all cases it will be connected directly to what? SI tables and SI tables will be connected to your mass rate objects. So they will focus. Okay, and I um, will show you. Compression in there. Look 
కంప్రెషన్ ఉంటుంది Now if you go to this, this is my BW system and uh, if you see this status, this tells me about BW 7.4 with support pack 11, okay, uh, the latest one, SP11 and then it says what is my database, mm. HANA database and what does it says, there is something like owner, owner and uh, mm. Two things, schema and user. So until now you got BW application running on HANA database, right? So HANA uh, until HANA is a HANA is a primary database for BW now. So for primary database, all, all the database should be in some schema, and this owner name would be the name of the schema in which all my BW tables would reside in. But BW and HANA are not a schema parent together. BW Cubal JSON, deprecation, tables created, the active table, change log table, new table, F table, E dimension tables. All those will be getting created under this BW schema. This is above one. Create a pair, that's not. Compulsor above one, that's the edit. That's what it is. That's the first schema. That's the first point. That schema will be BW relevant objects. Next, we will go to that. And we will also have user with the same name. And that will be the user login, which will be leveraged for the primary database connection. At the BWP, HANA, Madhula connection course, Aadhe pair to unna user ID na word into done. Okay, no, no. And in the point, the point, Nakthana sir, there are issues of suit, not authorized, not authorized, not authorized, ultimate again, the BWP, kind of kind of jayana kill than the, or authorized, leather, the old, new, I have logged in as Cubex user, Cubex user, leather, and gather. I, a lot of time tried, Providing access to Cubex, Cubex user can access to it. Can you do it? Can you do it? ABAP, SAP, ABAP, one and user can do it. One clear authorization. That's the answer. And so, our mindset is that you can always fix any issue. If you do it, then you can do it. If you do it, then you can do it. If it says no substitute authorization, then we can do it. We can do it. Okay, boss. Okay. 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 जोड़े से एक क्यूबेक्स इस में सर्वर ये सर्वर पे ये दी सिस्टम में एसपी नहीं इंस्टेंस नंबर इधर ना जीरो इधर भी एसपी ना हम कनेक्टिंग तो दें तो बस If I go to Ketlux, I see a schema of SAP above one. SAP above one. This schema will not be able to summon the tables and the download time. So this will be the major, this will be the schema which is the one for my BW. All my BW relevant database objects would be getting created into this schema. That's the main part. And we'll have a user with the same name. SAP above, are they paired to user guard wouldn't run, okay? Okay. 
Okay. <coughs> so I've just got this info. I'm just creating a queue. Okay. I'm saying create queue. I'm just using this copy and then so standard queue and what did it say? By default, what are the queue we create? It is unoptimized. Just using copy, I'm, I already have lots of in objects. I've just used them, which is already there. Okay, was fine. <coughs> and will it still create the data packet dimension? Yes, but but the question is, you don't have dimensions, right? There's no concept of dimension tables anymore, except in case of data packet dimensions. The question is then, why did you create so many dimensions here? Right click, you're still creating dimensions. What I want to do, that, that is no more of a technical restriction. That is, that will be, now the dimension just will be used as a folder to organize your objects. And any info objects you have block you have to do, just grouping. So when you go to query design, you'll be able to search those info objects easily. Only like organizing folder, tapa are in game here. Okay, Navas? Next, one more point. Even though the dimension table does not exist physically here, Still, the restriction of maximum 248 characters 62 under each folder still holds good. The physical dimension ka is like folder lag gada. Oka folder lo maximum 248. That means our restriction in cut le Okay, all grouping lag. Tappa wearing a M effect thundu dhanta. Asal dimension loading line dimension kachne le. Here there is restriction 60. Yes. Mm, you can only create 16, same same 16 only, but dimensions are not creating created. 16 fold, you can understand 16 folders, and max two for it characteristics assigned to each folder. RS 16 in government, yeah. And I'm just activating it. Here there is restriction 16, yes, 16 dimensions, yes. My cube is activated. Uh, okay. The cube is activated. Sorry. The cube is activated. Uh, generally, you can go to extras menu and say inform status and say dictionary DB status. You see, what tables do you see? Slash BAC slash F cube 55 is what? Fact table. And slash BAC slash D cube 55 P. What, what dimension is this? In the relation relation name is on it. There's nothing one to many in one to many, many to many. There's no dimension analysis at all. You just only like grouping customer learn the graph, at least one thing. Nick search is going to easy one day. Okay, now as a dimension table concept, ledu, no relation, nothing, no dimension analysis, cube design, nothing. That is on it. Add one, add one, add one thing. Okay. Even unoptimized queue will also have compression concept. So you can get more from me. If you ask me questions, one I, once I say the topic is done. Nan madhul adu naante yedo rendu mur point lethe sona na. Okay. Hmm. Kaalan kar. Ethin tar naage dil. Okay. So F and dimension table is available. Okay. So can I observe this? Uh, Tables in SC11. Now, one of dictionary at SC11, SC16. Eh? Uh, F, okay. Q55. Uh, and B, M, like F55. So, you have this. Uh, what is that you see as a key here? Only data packet dimension. Then, uh, you can see the data dimension. Mm. And no more dimensions. Now, we we'll change an ID record type request ID. Yeah? It will still do some or SC16 will do some dictionary. Same thing if I have access to my HANA Studio. If I if I'm able through HANA Studio, if I'm able to connect to the corresponding HANA database, which is the back end data, underlying database of my BW, should I be able to see those tables in the schema? And the other one, SAP will create a filter. 
U55. Mm. So, do I see the chef table and the dimension tables? Open the crude introduction. And ultimately, the analog create out on the other kind of question. Eh? These are fact tables. What is key for Q55 piece? What? That is a dimension key connecting to what? Data packet. Data packet dimension still holds there. Okay. And all your SIDs. Okay. So, was only in the all your SIDs connecting to what? Straight away to SI tables and then through mass data objects. Data packet dimension normal. Data packet dimension ID, SID, change order requested. Clear is clear? Okay, good. <coughs> good. Important point is that what table is this? F table, right? If you go to runtime information, if you go to runtime information, you will observe that this has been partitioned, yes. You see this table being partitioned first and you see four partitions. One, two, three and four. Every fact table, F table is by default partitioned with four and it does do partition of round robin method. When round robin and we range partitioning and we have others hash partitioning. Yeah? Here it does use round robin partitioning with four block, four partitions, one, two and three and four. Okay, Ramos? Mm. Now, what is what is the purpose of this four partitions? One, two, three, and four. And then look at this. Let's say you created an unoptimized cube, and you use data source transformations, DTP info package, and you're extracting data from some source, and you're loading it to cube. And all the data what you load will get loaded to four partition number four. Any data what you're loading into the cube will get unoptimized cube will get loaded into partition number 4 always okay numbers and when you basically compress the cube then the data from partition number 4 is moved to partition number 1 so partition number 4 will store all the uncompressed data which is loaded and partition number 1 will store all the compressed records or compressed requests Okay, mm. then then what what is two and what is three? And partition number two and three will be leveraged only in case of non cumulative cubes or when you deal with like inventory cubes. Partition number two and three will be used only for non in case of non cumulative cubes where look at this now. You will have initial stock and you will have uh, movements, yeah. And initial stock will get into partition number two and all the movements will get into partition number three. See, normal loading is the first four kills. The compression code number, marker the code, the two leg kills are done. Without marker the code number, three leg kills are So, two and three will be leveraged only when you are dealing with non cumulative cubes. That is four parties. And then, literally, logical, you should treat partition number four as F table, partition number one as E table. That is the same thing. Okay, was fine. Okay, Rana. Uh, what I want and major point to be stressed here, sir, my part is number four loan run ki one loan game, but difference on that. And is my compression mandatory in my cube? When I'm dealing with BW and Hana, is my compression so important for me for query performance? Another question. What I want to say, and if you know what I'm detail good to do is good to do, my compression is real. Another question. You got the point? When you're loading, data is getting into four, and if I'm not compressing at all, it is still in the fourth block itself. And only when I partition, data gets in. Only when I compress in the cube, it gets into partition number one. Four nunchi records aggregate JC one leg bit thanta. Because question I want to, when you're using HANA as a database, it can handle the data in any if it is in any detailed format. And instead of having multi, instead of having ten records, even the split up to hundred records would. And I handle this in the compression in the end of this question. So, a point is very important. Here in, in BW and HANA, we are not compressing the cube to improve query performance. We are, not we, are not, we are not compressing to improve the performance of query performance. Query performance goes in compressed data. Or point I wanted to reduce the data volume in the cube. Cube load data volume thuggy score and over benefit. Ungo benefit to improve the performance of delta merge because F table is only uh, F table only almost it's a all the tables which gets created in the backend for 
ఎఫ్ టేబుల్ డిఎస్ టూ టేబుల్స్ యాక్టివ్ టేబుల్ అన్ని ఎఫ్ కాలమ్ స్టోర్ టేబుల్స్ సో ఇప్పుడు కాలమ్ స్టోర్ టేబుల్స్ డూ హ్యావ్ మర్జింగ్ ట్రిగ్గెట్ ఆల్వేస్ అది ఆటో ఆటో నువ్వు ట్రిగ్గెట్ చేయకుండా సిస్టమ్ కొడితే క్రిటికల్ మర్జ్ ఆటో మర్జ్ ఏదైనా కావచ్చు బట్ మర్జింగ్ అయితే ఉంటుంది ఇట్లా మర్జింగ్ మర్జింగ్ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏంది ఐ ఆల్రెడీ టోల్ ది మర్జింగ్ ఇస్ స్పెసిఫిక్ ఈచ్ పార్టీషన్ ఎవ్రీ పార్టీషన్ విల్ హ్యావ్ మెయిన్ టేబుల్ డెల్టా టేబుల్ మెయిన్ టేబుల్ డెల్టా టేబుల్ మెయిన్ టేబుల్ డెల్టా టేబుల్ ఫోర్ పార్టీషన్స్ అంటే విల్ హ్యావ్ ఫోర్ మెయిన్ టేబుల్స్ ఫోర్ డెల్టా టేబుల్స్ అండ్ వెన్ యూ లోడ్ డేట్ ఇన్ టు ది క్యూబ్ ఇట్ డస్ ఫిల్ ఆల్ ది డేట్ ఇన్ టు వర్డ్ డెల్టా టేబుల్ ఆఫ్ విచ్ పార్టీషన్ ఫోర్త్ పార్టీషన్ మెన్ డూ మర్జింగ్ డెల్టా డేటా ఫ్రమ్ డెల్టా టేబుల్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్త్ పార్టీషన్ విల్ ఇస్ మూడ్ ఇన్ టు వర్డ్ డేట్ ఆఫ్ మెయిన్ పార్టీషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్త్ బ్లాక్ నువ్వు కంపరేషన్ చేయలే ఇప్పుడు అన్ని ఫస్ట్ వన్ మిలియన్ రికార్డ్స్ లోడ్ చేసినాం ఆ వన్ మిలియన్ ఎక్కడ ఉన్నాయి పార్టీషన్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్ లో ఉన్నాయి మళ్ళీ టూ మిలియన్స్ టూ మిలియన్ రికార్డ్స్ లోడ్ చేసినాం ఇప్పుడు కంపరేషన్ ఇప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు నువ్వు మర్జింగ్ కొడితే డస్ మై మర్జింగ్ ప్లే ఆన్ త్రీ మిలియన్ రికార్డ్స్ కదా అట్లా కాకుండా నేనేం చేసింటా అంటే ఫస్ట్ వన్ మిలియన్ వచ్చిన కంపరేషన్ కొట్టేస్తే అప్పుడు ఏమైంది ఆ వన్ మిలియన్ ఎక్కడ పెట్టింది పార్టీషన్ నెంబర్ వన్ లేక వెళ్ళిపోయింది ఇప్పుడు నువ్వు కొత్తగా టూ మిలియన్ రికార్డ్స్ లోడ్ చేసి ఇప్పుడు పార్ట్ ఇప్పుడు మర్జ్ కొట్టరా అంటే పార్టీషన్ వన్ కి మర్జింగ్ జరగాలి పార్టీషన్ టూ కి కూడా మర్జింగ్ జరగాలి బట్ ఇట్ డస్ పార్టీషన్ ఫోర్ కి బట్ ఇట్ డస్ ఓన్లీ మర్జింగ్ ఫర్ దోస్ పార్టీషన్ వేట్ చేస్తాం న్యూ డేటా లోడెడ్ పార్టీషన్ వన్ లో ఆల్రెడీ పాత డేటా కాబట్టి కొత్త డేటా ఏం రాలేదు కాబట్టి దానికి ఏం కొట్టదు పార్టీ నా మర్జింగ్ లిమిట్ అండ్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ విచ్ బ్లాక్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ ఫోర్త్ పార్టీషన్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ హౌ మెన్ రికార్డ్స్ దోస్ టూ మిలియన్ రికార్డ్స్ వాట్ ఇస్ లోడ్ సో వెన్ ఇట్ డూ కంప్రెషన్ డేటా వాల్యూమ్ తగ్గుతుంది అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ డస్ ఇట్ ఇంప్రూవ్ ది పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఆఫ్ యూర్ మర్జింగ్ బికాస్ ఇట్ హస్ టు డూ మర్జ్ ఓన్లీ అండ్ దోస్ రికార్డ్స్ వాట్ ఇస్ దర్ ఇన్ ఫోర్త్ పార్టీషన్ ఫోర్త్ పార్టీషన్ ఏముంటాయి అన్కంప్రెస్ రిక్వెస్ట్ లో ఉంది కంప్రెషన్ చేసే కొద్ది ఫోర్ పార్టీషన్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్ సైజ్ తగ్గుతా ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి ఆ రికార్డ్స్ కి మర్జింగ్ జరగాలి కాబట్టి అర్థం దట్స్ టూ బెనిఫిట్స్ వెన్ యూ గెట్ వెన్ యూ డూ దట్ రీజన్ యూ డూ కంప్రెషన్ ఉంది క్యూబ్ ఈవెన్ దో సిస్టమ్ ఇస్ ఏబుల్ టు హ్యాండిల్ ది పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫెరీ ఓకే ఒక్క రికార్డ్ తగ్గినా నాకు తగ్గినట్టే సైజ్ అదొకటి దెన్ మర్జింగ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ అది ఫైన్ అండ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు స్ట్రెస్ ఆన్ దట్స్ ఫైన్ ఎస్ఐడిస్ అన్ని కామన్ అండ్ ఓకే సో యూర్ ఓకే విత్ దిస్ సబ్ దిస్ ద కేస్ వెర్ ఈ క్రియేటింగ్ న్యూ క్యూ for example i already have an existing queue which is uh, let's say it was bw7.0 with oracle database i created my all my queues now with the dm option i migrated the system to bw on hana now when i migrate all the existing queues are still like that i have to explicitly migrate those queues to what hana optimized queues how do i migrate this once ఆర్ఎస్ ఎంఐ జిఆర్ హనా డిబి ఆర్ఎస్ ఆర్ఎస్ ఎంఐ జిఆర్ ఇస్ మైగ్రేషన్ హనా డిబి హనా డేటాబేస్ వెన్ యూ గెట్ ఇన్ హియర్ యూ వాంట్ మైగ్రేట్ క్యూబ్ ఆర్ యూ వాంట్ మైగ్రేట్ డిఎస్ వాట్ యూ వాంట్ వాట్ లెట్స్ యూ వాంట్ మైగ్రేట్ సమ్ క్యూబ్ ఇంకా నాకు లేదు ఐ కెనాట్ షో యూ దిస్ బట్ ఓన్లీ ఎందుకు సిస్టమ్ ఎందుకు నాకు మైగ్రేషన్ చేసిన సిస్టమ్ లేదన్నట్టు ఐ హ్యావ్ టు గివ్ ది క్యూబ్ నేమ్ అండ్ సో వాట్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ and if you want to go with multiple set of queues you can just click this you can list out multiple queues general real time is also application application based if the sales so mm one you know sales queue land ok sir icche dan kodtar migration mall mm ok sir adhe okay itla migration this queue name ibadam execute kodtadam execute kodte ga migration aipane ante nu chesinde em automatically the normal queue will get converted as unoptimized okay friends and point is that even during migration reporting is not disturbed even during the migration of the cube reporting can be still be enabled for reporting you don't have to worry on it but data management is not allowed like loading or a deletion all those cannot be allowed you cannot do any data management on the cube when the migration is going on but it can be still be allowed for reporting on this cube even during migration మైగ్రేషన్ జరిగేటప్పుడు కూడా రిపోర్టింగ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు కానీ లోడింగ్ డిలీషన్ అది రోల్ అప్స్ ఇట్లాంటివి చేయలేము అన్ని యూ షుడ్ రిమూవ్ ఇట్ దమ్ ఫ్రమ్ స్కెడ్యూల్ ఓన్లీ దెన్ యూ గో విత్ మైగ్రేషన్ ఇది ఒక్క కరెక్టా వాట్ యూ మీన్ బై సింప్లిఫైడ్ మోడలింగ్ 
Now, see, if it is without HANA, we were doing lots of analysis on one-to-one -one dimension analysis. I was, we were mainly worried about the cardinality of the dimension tables and looking at assigning characteristics in different dimensions. But now, there's no point in analyzing any dimension size because dimension tables are not physically created. Physical analysis, dimension table concept is, so a fact of state of connected to what? Yes, side is. So now I don't have to do any analysis. Straight away assign some characteristics to folder one, folder two. So simplified modeling and simplified remodeling also. You put BW without HANA database. Low. Let's say there is a cube with there is a lot of data is already loaded. Can I add an extra characteristic to cube on the cube of data channel load in the you put the characteristic add the change change and on the characteristic delete the change. It is more simplified remodeling. You can do either add characteristic, delete characteristic, re uh, replace anything can be done with the remodeling option. It's more simplified remodeling. And the dimension table is what is table lagging You treat the cube as normal table. Table data not column this is dimensions of running the government linking a characteristic big there. A dimension table data will regenerate jail got a PC lake on it, but PK. And it says faster loading. Instead of generating dimension addies and then inserting dimension addies into fact table, straight away, straight away what I'm doing, I'm using S addies into the fact table. So will it speed up the process? Dimension addies generation on a concept of loading problems. Okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, I do there, There's one dimension table called data packet together. I said, I'll put it on reason. I'm request wise deletion enable it. If I don't have data packet dimension also, I cannot recognize which records belongs to which request. That's the reason we're going with what data packet. Data packet dimension one number. We still have the what I'm trying to do. For example, dimension on the I have got. Uh, Customer assigned to the dimension, and you're loading one million records. But three cards can separate separate customer. Our dimension table any size and any records on them. One million on them. And if for each customer it generates one dimension. Are there data packet dimension any records on them? Millions load jay. Ultimate go get request. Any records for request number generate it. Are they what I'm trying to? Generally, the size of the dimension data packet dimension is not so huge because for all the records you load, it just generates one. Dimension right, so having that will not really cause any uh, damage to the database sizing. So, if you have it, we'll have the better performance on deletion of the data by request. Our pet code model database size is period in the any millions of records load is okay. Dimension to generate just good in that look for the request for the dimension and they have okay. I don't know what deletion by request is going to have cost more than Okay, and you can convert through this program RSDR underscore convert to cube in memory, or you can use this program P code migrate DB. And once it is done, you can also look at the logs. You want to see the log of those cubes conversion, then you can do that in what SLG1. After the conversion, we uh, just like a standard cube after convert is important. Now. So you migrate the cubes. Let's say I have a cube which is used in 100 multi processors. Now, when I, once I migrate this cube, do I, does this multiples get affected? No. Does the reports get affected? No. Nothing. They work as it is. With transformations, A, we inactivate gang. You don't have to be worried about it. So, after conversion, cube be just, be just as a normal cube. There's no need to change any load process, DTP, multiple queries, A, the multiple those there. As it is, they work. Okay. And during conversion, a lock is set preventing all maintenance activities and loading. Loading of any jail, but query on cubes is aware possible during migration also. In Japan, already is it You can numbering vary, right? Partition one is compressed, partition four is uncompressed. Is numbering vary? Okay, I gave it wrong in this. So it is recommended that we migrate. See, unoptimized cube. I want to migrate the cube unoptimized cube. But before you migrate the cube to HANA optimized cube, migrate those, if it is in 3.x data flow, you have to migrate it to 7x flow, then go about migration. Yendukonte. 
ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಇದು ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕ್ ಅಂತೆ ಮಂದಿ ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಅಂತೆ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡಿ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಪ್ಪುಡು ಅಪ್ಡೇಟ್ ಲೆಕಲ್ಗೆ ಇಪ್ಪುಡು ಟ್ರಿಗರ್ ಡೇಟಾಬೇಸ್ ಮರ್ಜ್ ಅನ್ನು ಅಂತೆ once it is unoptimized queue most of the operations of unoptimized queue are controlled by the ddp and you you can load data through ddp only if it is 7 flow if it is 3.x flow you can't load with the ddp so unoptimized queue manaku then main controls anni ddp lo untai kabatti ddp dwar load chese better ddp dwar load cheyalante mana flow data flow undali 7.x kada so you have to migrate those queues from 3.x to 7.x flow to then have really have the benefits of this unoptimized queue. ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ಫೋಕ್ಯೂ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅನ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಮೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಅಂತ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಎ ಅವರ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಗೇಟಿಂಗ್ ರಿಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲೂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಬ್ಬ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ನೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ಡ್ ಸೋ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲಾಟ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ನೌ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಅಪ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಫೋಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಮರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಕ್ವೆರಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಅವ್ರು ಚೆಪ್ತಾರೆ ಸೈಜಿಂಗ್ ಗುರಿಂಚಿ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ರಿಲೆವೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಕಿಬ್ಸ್ and the reason comp- large queues ke make sense and a request greater than 0 partition and 10 to 15 million records are not a problem 15 million records are given them the partition if it is more than that then you need to start running compression at the merging ki if the records is between 10 to 15 million is okay if it is more than that then there is a problem inventory handling we can do a new queue create we don't will add more ah is okay every new queue what you create in in so now i just create a queue and never migrated by default it is unoptimized any type of queue not only the unoptimized ones you have no longer need db uh, once it is unoptimized queue no no more db statistics no because they don't even go with aggregates roll up house only index or deletion index create index now only am leaving and straight away load up uh. so if you have if you already have process chains which is built for the old queues even they have to be optimized you have to remove those roll up process then deleting index creating index inka art and step load cheyadam la customers and atle migrate just pettunta gaani they not really going on with the optimization inga one year undandi antaru inga inga em em option use ant telu kada oka one year unnaga cheddam le annat better andre that's okay and see uh, if it is an info queue which is part of hybrid pro we cannot migrate it okay we can have cube which is part of hybrid proud which cannot be migrated bus and spos migrate just say arni ka we would explicitly list out all the cubes of spos to get migrated all those cubes find what is your find is wrong yeah hmm. that's it this is unoptimized info cubes now we can can we handle inventory management with this unoptimized cubes yes and this is how we going to deal with handling this inventory management tomorrow we we'll stop it here today tomorrow we'll focus on how do we handle inventory management with hana optimized queues and the loading in sir or just now i pon i am just triggering the load no they should not queue would create this the load ever i just loaded this data into this q55 if i go uh, if i go to my f table uh, will i see those four five records into which partition now you 
C record count. What is a five? Five in which block? Fourth partition. And let me just do the compression. But an optimized cube is an optimized cube whether it is 7.3 release or 7.4 any so it is all same concept. Now it is compressed, no I should switch. I see so, so I see those five records in what? Part is number one. Okay, Nanda? And you practice it and tomorrow we will let us deal with inventory management. We already tell you but we will see how do we implement this in this. Yeah.